THC today is Thursday, December 10th, and this weekend we will be hearing and singing about joy, good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Jesus Christ became one of us, given up all his heavenly glory, and born as a human into this world so he could walk with us, love us, and show us how to live life to the fullest. Then he suffered and died in our place, paying the price for our sins so that we could experience abundance and eternal life, both in this world and in the world to come. Now it can be hard to understand incarnation, so I wanted to share a story with you. This is called The Man and the Birds by Paul Harvey. The man who I'm going to introduce you to was not a Scrooge, he was actually kind, decent, mostly good man. He was generous to his family, upright in his dealings with others, and he just did not believe in all that incarnation stuff, which the churches proclaim at Christmas time. Uh, it just did not make sense, and he was too honest to pretend otherwise. Uh, he could not swallow the whole Jesus story about God coming to earth as a man. This is gonna be our man. He said, I'm truly sorry to distress you, he told his wife, but I'm not going to church with you this Christmas Eve. He said he would feel like a hypocrite, that he had much rather just stay at home, but that he would wait up for them. So he stayed as they went off to the midnight service at church. Give him a family, go to church. Shortly after the family drove away in the car, snow began to fall. That's a snowflake, if you can't tell. Uh, he went to the window uh, to watch the flurries getting heavier and heavier, and then went back to his fireside chair and began to read his newspaper. Minutes later, he was startled by hearing a thudding sound, then another, then another. He thought it was probably just some kids in the neighborhood throwing snowballs against the living room window. However, when he went to check out the window, to investigate, he found a flock of birds huddled miserably in the snow, caught in a storm and desperate search for shelter, had tried to fly through his large landscape window. Well, he could not let the poor creatures just lie there and free, so he remembered the barn where his children stabled their pony, that he could provide them warm shelter if he could direct the birds to it. Quickly, he put on his coat, his boots. He tramped through the deepening snow to the barn. He opened the doors wide and turned on a light, but the birds did not come in. He figured food might entice them, so he hurried back to the house fetched breadcrumbs, sprinkled them in the snow, making a trail for the, for the birds to make their way into the barn. To his dismay, the birds ignored the breadcrumbs and continued to flap around helplessly in the snow. He tried catching them. He tried shooing them into the barn by walking around them and waving his arms. Instead, they scattered in every direction except into the warm, lighted barn. He then began to think. And he realized that they were afraid of him. To them, he reasoned, I am a strange, I am a terrifying creature. 
if only I could think of some way to let them know that they can trust me, that I am not trying to hurt them, but to help them. But how? Because any move he made he tended to frighten them, confuse them. They just would not follow. They would be uh, not led or shooed because they feared him. If only I could be a bird, he thought to himself, and mingle with them and speak their language. Then I could tell them to not be afraid. Then I could show them the way to a safe, warm barn. But I would have to be one of them so they could see and hear and understand. It was at this moment that the church bells began to ring. The sound reached his ears above the sounds of the wind, and he stood there listening to the bells, listening to the bells, feeling the glad tidings of joy of Christmas. He sank to his knees in the snow. So there you have it. If Jesus did not come into this world, then this world would be utterly hopeless with no access to God, no atonement for sin, no forgiveness, and no relationship with God at all. But the good news of great joy is that he did come. He came for all the people, for you and for me. Have a Merry Christmas, my friends. I hope to see you this weekend. God bless.